Greetings fellow goobers, welcome to today's video. It's Wednesday, hump day, so I figured I got a couple hours, why not do a video for you to break up the week, huh? So, you know, the response has been pretty good. It's, I'm, I'm new to the reaction thing. I've only have a few videos under my belt. It's going pretty well as far as I'm concerned. So thank you everyone again. And if you're new, you know, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're enjoying this. And uh, yeah, so let's dive in. Today's video I'm reacting slash list, just listening to because obviously I've already heard this song before. Big fan of the band. Testament. The song is Into the Pit. Let's, let's dive in. Here we go. Nice. Whoops. Hit the camera. Accident. Accident. Sorry. Yeah, Into the Pit. Uh, I mean, first thing you might notice off the bat, if you're not familiar with this song, is the first riff sounds a little familiar, right? <laughs> it's very similar to Lamb of God's Laid to Rest riff. Yeah, it's pretty close, but I mean... You see, I've, I've only seen a few people complain or shit talk that aspect you know but it wasn't like a big huge worldwide criticism as far as i know which it speaks volumes to both bands i guess you know they each made it their own <coughs> obviously testament came up with it first <laughs> so you know it's kind of hard to be like oh my god ripped them off no they didn't well perhaps rip off close but i don't know what i'm i don't know what i'm getting at here i'm not trying to start shit but just basically the first thing I thought when I heard that this song was like, oh, Lamb of God? Because I was into Lamb of God before I was into Testament. 
But, I mean, this song's got the goods, right? I mean, you've got the thrash metal straight up the ass. <laughs> like, it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, Chuck Billy's vocals are always so powerful sounding, so good. Um, he's got a pretty good range, you know? He's got those really deep, almost death metal, like, like he can go there. He can go there. But his deep vocals, his, his mid-range screams are good. Um, it's just very musical in the way that he projects his vocals and it's 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 palatable like you can you can you can enjoy it it's not like beat you over the head death metal y screaming or any death metal y oh god uh eric eric peterson and and uh alex skolnick on guitar are a fantastic guitar duo they're they make for a really great team you know a lot of people well a lot of testament fans really like the Gathering, the album The Gathering, and there's no Alex Skolnick on there, but Eric Peterson knocks it out of the park. Like he, I, th I'm pretty sure I'm not, I'm not 100 sure, but so don't totally quote me on this, but I think he writes most of the actual material, if I'm not mistaken. And man, that dude knows how to riff. And Alex Skolnick's uh, lead playing is, it's so good. It's technical. And it almost sounds chaotic, but it's so organized and well played that it you you just you I'm kind of in awe of his playing. Like he's so diverse with his playing. Like being in the Alex uh, Skolnick trio, like when he plays like those jazz plays those jazz things. I think he was in the uh, Trans Siberia Orchestra for a while. So like he's very diversified in his guitar playing, which is really really awesome. Uh, I mean the drums are what you would expect for a thrash uh, song. You know, a lot of double kick, a lot of just uh, thrash beats and such. So everything about this song just screams thrash metal. And it's it's great. It's one of my favorite Testament songs. I got to go see them and Lamb of God, funny enough, this past uh, May for uh, the Slayer's final tour. And that was cool. I can I, The link to, the, to that video is down below if you want to check it out. I kind of vlogged the day with my a couple of my pals and we... we we messed around in Toronto for the day, and we got to watch some sick metal bands. So, yeah, it was really good. Um, this band is one of my favorites, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm sure you might like them too if you're into thrash metal. So, people think that they should be part of the Big Four or whatever. Um, I I wouldn't necessarily disagree. I know the Big Four thing is more about timing than anything. How they, you know, Metallica started in '82, '83 or whatever, and those bands kind of, and these guys came a little later. So whatever, I, I get it, but. They definitely belong up there at the pillars. Well, there's the four pillars, but they're part of that structure, however you want to look at it. So, yeah, Testament kicks ass. So, if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell because my upload schedule is so random. And, uh, yeah, what do you think of Testament? I personally think they kick ass. So I'd like to hear what you think of them. Yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. <laughs>